Hello and welcome to my channel, A Square Pillow Isn't Square. This is the place where you will learn tips, techniques, tricks, advice, and tutorials all related to home deck sewing. Today's project, super fun, quick and easy video tutorial about how to make this mock button closure decorative pillow. And I call this a mock button closure pillow because although there is a very believable overlap button flap that makes it look like buttons are indeed closing the pillow. The flap is sewn closed and the buttons are sewn on as a decorative element so you don't have to worry about sewing buttonholes. The instructions in this video will give you a one and a half inch overlap flap which I found is just a really good size for almost all average pillows and for a flap that size I would recommend getting a button that's anywhere from three quarters of an inch to one inch in diameter. All right, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is correctly measure your pillow insert for the cover that you're gonna make. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, I will link here to a video I made about how to correctly measure for a pillow cover. And once you've measured that, just jot down the finished size of your cover. In my case, my cover's gonna finish at 19 inches square. Next step, let's cut out our front and back. The front and back are going to be different sizes because the front needs extra width to accommodate the overlap flap. So we're going to start by cutting out the back, adding one inch overall to the length and width. My cover is going to finish at 19 inches, so I'm going to cut my pillow back 20 by 20. When you cut out the front, the length is going to be the same as the back, so you're going to add one inch overall to the vertical uh, measurement of your pillow, but to the width you're going to add four inches from what you want your finished cover to be. In my case, my cover is going to finish at 19 inches wide and long, so I'm going to cut it 20 inches long up and down, and I'm going to cut it 23 inches wide. The next thing we're going to do is make a couple of marks on your pillow front. The first mark is calculated this way. Measure the cut width of your pillow back, divide that number in half, and add three quarters of an inch. In my case, my pillow back is cut 20 inches wide. Half that measurement is 10 inches. If I add three quarters of an inch, my first pin is going to be 10 and three quarters of an inch from one edge of the pillow. You can make a mark with a pin, with a piece of chalk, pencil, disappearing ink pen, it doesn't really matter. You just want to make a mark on the top edge of your pillow front and then transfer that same measurement to the bottom. And the other mark you're going to make is simply three inches over from the first one that you made. My first mark was at 10 and 3 quarters, so my second mark will be at 13 and 3 quarters. And again, transfer that mark to the bottom of the fabric. Now we're just going to press our fabric front wrong sides together on the first mark that you made. So in my case, my mark was 10 and 3 quarters of an inch from the edge, so I'm going to make a nice even press line that goes consistently 10 and 3 quarters of an inch all the way down the front of the fabric. And when you open it up, it should look like this. Now take your fabric on that pressed line and simply pull it over to your second mark. And that's how you're going to make your overlap flap. Line it up so it's nice and straight and press it in place. Once you've pressed it in place, put some pins in to hold everything nicely together and find the underside folded edge. As you can see where my finger is right here, you can kind of feel where that edge is. We're going to simply do one line of top stitching close to the fold to hold our flap in place only on this side of the flap. And now your pillow front should look something like this. Next, we're going to make a mark for our center button. You're going to find the very center of the pillow, both vertically and horizontally, and you should find that it also falls right in the middle of your button flap. Now just make a mark where you want your other buttons to go. In my case, I'm doing three buttons. So they're going to each fall halfway in between the top and bottom of my pillow and the middle button. Don't forget to account for seam allowances. So I'll actually 
um, take off the half inch seam allowance on top and bottom when I'm measuring to figure out where those other buttons go. Now just sew your buttons in place. Um, as you can see, I like things a little funky. I'm using a hemp twine here where I want my button thread to kind of show and be an accent. Plus it's easier for you to see it on the video, but sew on your buttons any way that you like them to look. All right, you're almost done. Just put your pillow cover pieces right sides together and complete your pillow like you normally would. I do have a great video out on um, installing an invisible zipper if you'd like to try that. Or I have another one out there too about um, the easiest way to machine sew the bottom closed, hand sew it closed, however you like to do it. Um, and you have a beautiful, versatile, attractive, custom made mock button flap pillow. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel um, so that you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching and happy sewing.